Good morning everyone. Portable water heaters made in the Philippines. I'm sure these will bring back memories for some people, just like my recent videos about the Oricon water jugs. Honestly, these are not so popular nowadays because, well, more modern and perhaps safer options are available. But there's still a lot of people using these and they still have their purposes. Let's begin our test by simply heating some water so you can see how you use one of these. Then we'll take a look inside and see how they work. So I have 1.5 liters of water straight from the faucet measuring 28.2 degrees Celsius. And I am running a watt meter at the same time so we can get an idea of exactly how much power this consumes. 1,140 watts. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of energy. Even after this very short time, the top water there is very, very hot. Look, you can see steam coming off. Okay, 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 okay. That's enough. So you can see we are over 80 degrees Celsius. It's a little bit uncomfortable to hold it here because the steam is heating up my fingers. The next one we'll look at is the Sakura water heater. They say it's made in the Republic of Philippines, but they don't say who makes it or where. This is the one that I'm a little bit scared about because the wire is very, very thin and the quality of the plug, well, it's very questionable. So again, we have 1.5 liters of water from the faucet and it's measuring 28.5 degrees Celsius. The wire is so short that I had to move it closer to the socket. Okay. There we go. How much power is it drawing? So obviously at 350 to 400 watts, this is not going to heat the water as fast as the previous one. One of the things it says on the instructions is never touch the water while heating is in progress if barefooted. My advice would be never touch the water full stop because if we put our tester in here, it lights up immediately to warn us that there's AC. This is designed to be put into an AC outlet to test if there's power there. If we put it in the water, it immediately lights up to warn us. So really never ever ever touch the water while the heating element is inside. And I just want to check if the wire is getting hot. No, to be fair, it's actually not getting hot at the moment. We're starting to get some steam and some bubbles. And honestly, I even stopped timing it because it was taking so long to heat up. It looks like we're around 55 degrees Celsius and it took a very long time to reach that far. All you need to open one of these is a screwdriver. You just go around the edge and pry the plastic open and then it will pop off and you'll see it inside. Again, obviously, don't have it plugged in when you're doing this, okay? So if we open it up, you're gonna understand how this works. So first of all, we have the outer plastic shell. Then we have an additional plastic protector on the inside, both sides. They just pull off. And then you have your plates. So there's two plates there for each conductor. And that's pretty much it. In between, what you have is a piece of plastic or a piece of rubber. And what that does is it actually isolates the two conductors. If these were touching, you would have a closed circuit and well, when you plug it into the socket, it's gonna go boom or your brake is gonna trip, right? So that's really all it is. Two pieces of metal with the wires, I guess are welded on there. And then a separator or an insulator between them to make sure they can't touch. Of course, water is conductive, not very conductive, but it is conductive from the faucet and that would actually heat up the water. If you look on YouTube, you'll see people cleaning these out. I'll cut in some footage and I'll credit the person, but basically you do get some muck that would build up on the plates over time. And you just have to clean it out to make sure that it's efficient and that you can heat the water as quickly as when you first bought it. So it managed to heat 1.5 liters, but how about half a bucket? You can see the sun is coming up. That's why we're having a higher temperature coming out of the faucet, 29.1 degrees Celsius right now. I'm always scared when handling this one because it just feels like it'll fall apart in my hands and give me a shock. We'll give it a 10 minute timer and then come back and see what temperature it got the water up to. So the 10 minutes are up. Let's remove the water heater. We'll stir the water just to make sure that it's well mixed because the water on top is generally hotter because that's where the heater is hanging out. So it looks like it's going to settle around 34.9 degrees Celsius. Not really that warm, to be honest. So I just replaced the water. Let's zoom in and check what the temperature is. 
So we're looking at around 29.3 degrees Celsius. We're going to put in the higher quality water heater. And again, we'll put that on a 10 minute timer and then come back and check the water temperature. Okay, that's 10 minutes. Let's check the temperature. I can already feel the water from here. So this is obviously going to be much hotter. We'll give it a quick stir. Let me try to put my fingers in there. Oh, that's hot. That's too hot to even bath with. Okay, so I guess that's going to be about it. 51 degrees, roughly. I thought it was going to go much higher because that water is really hot. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't keep my hand in there. That's very, very hot. Anyway, you can clearly see the difference between the higher wattage model. It gets the job done much, much, much faster. We're now onto our third batch of water. And if we check the thermometer, we're looking at around 29.8 degrees out of the faucet, nearly 30 degrees Celsius, because as the sun comes up, the water out of the faucet gets hotter. This next water heater is not actually made in the Philippines, but it's allegedly 2,500 watts. So I'm just curious to test it out. It seems a bit extreme. And for this one, we're only running it for five minutes. I'll put my microphone closer so you can hear what it sounds like. It's almost like a normal kettle. Now I'm not recommending that you put your hand in the water with this one, but if we do put our AC tester in there, it's not measuring anything. So I'm guessing that this is some kind of enclosed coil. We've got 42 seconds left, but I'm going to end the test early. The reason why I ended the test early is because I could feel this becoming hot and a lot more flexible. So what that means is the wire inside cannot handle the current. It's heating up, it could burn through its insulation, short circuit, blow the whole, the whole circuit. So for that reason, I'm going to say, if you see this being sold, do not buy it. Yes, it will work for a while. And then, well, you could have a big disaster. So yeah, don't buy this. As for the temperature of the water, let's find out. So it's hovering around 39 to 40 degrees Celsius. I'd say that's pretty much a great temperature for a bath, especially if it's uh, cold outside and you wanna just have a nice hot bath. So how was our testing? Well, the one that surprised me the most was the Sakura water heater. Because honestly, when you feel it and you see how small the wire is and the quality of the plug, I thought this was gonna burn up. In fact, there are reviews showing the plug melted through or the wire being damaged where it's heated through the insulation, burned through the insulation. But that didn't happen to me. Now, what I'm thinking is maybe they're plugging it into a socket that isn't rated for this kind of high output, although it's only, you know, around 400 watts. Maybe the socket is heating up, plus the wire is acting as a kind of resistor because it's so small. And then eventually it's burning through. In my case, like I mentioned earlier, all of these were run through an aircon socket because I know it has a thicker gauge of wire and a 30 amp breaker. If you use these on a regular socket, one that's designed for just a fan or something like that, you might have a problem, especially this one, 2,500 watts, that's a lot of power. This one, 1,500 watts. Honestly, if you asked me, do I recommend these kind of products? I would probably say no, to be honest because there are safer options available nowadays. If you have kids, if you have pets, you have to be very careful when you're using these. Even as an adult, you have to really pay attention to what you're doing, because if you put your hand in the water, you would get a shock. If you, let's say you're not thinking, you left it plugged in, you put your hand in and you grab this, that's really gonna be a bad time. So as much as possible, make sure you're using the wire. Keep your hands away from this no matter what. Same when I plug it in and plug it out. I'm very, very careful. So yeah, they work, but I don't know if I can recommend them. If you do get one, make sure you invest. Buy the proper, you know, the one that's, where's the thing? This one, right? Everybody recognizes this. You go to the hardware shop, you go online, you go anywhere. Everyone recognizes this brand, this specific model. Don't go for the other ones which are cheaper because you're gonna regret it in the long run. This is only like 350 pesos. And I've got one of these, where is it? This one, this has been used for countless, countless times. You can see it doesn't look quite so pretty anymore because it will react with the uh, contaminants in the water 
and any sediments and things like that. In fact, you do have to occasionally clean these. The reason why these are different colors is they're made for different types of water. So if you're going to buy one, at least buy the decent one, right? These can last you a very, very long time if you look after them, if you clean them. Oh, and if you're wondering why they sell different color models, it depends on the type of water that you're heating, if it's gonna be well water or if it's gonna be water from the faucet. So make sure you buy the right model. It's not random. They didn't just randomly change the design. There's a reason behind this. I'm curious to open this one, the Sakura water heater. It's only 100 pesos, so obviously the construction is not gonna be as good. But let's take a look inside. Okay, so it opened up pretty easily. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Yikes. Okay. It looks like they've soldered the wires on and the thickness of the sheet metal, it's about the same as an aluminum can. And then it had some kind of plastic spacer. Look at this. Oh my gosh, and that was just like loosely sitting in there. It's not even secure. If you compare it to the design of this one, they've sandwiched the insulators in there. So there's no way that those plates could ever touch. Whereas this one, I feel like if you dropped it and then you put it in the water, for sure, these plates could touch, giving you a short circuit. Oh my goodness, no wonder it's, it's much cheaper. I don't want to go so far as to say you should not buy this, but... Honestly, I would not recommend anyone to buy this. I mean, maybe that's why they don't say who actually makes it, right? They just say, yeah, made in the Philippines, but they don't tell you who makes it because, I don't know, can this meet any kind of safety standards? Maybe, I'm not sure, to be honest. Before I throw this away, let's take a look inside at the thickness of the wire. I would like to say that the plug is kind of ingenious, how it just clips together with those little plastic pegs, no screws. But, yeah, it gets better, it gets better. You know how they connected the wire to the prong? There's a hole in the prong and they just tied it. Look. So if I pull on one of these prongs, yeah, look. My goodness, that is not safe. That is honestly not safe. So thickness of the wire, that's what you're looking at. Okay, now let me show you compared to the premium brand or the one that everybody actually recognizes. Here's the wire from the superheater, the branded one, 1.25 mm. I just twisted one and opened the other. Let's bring in the cheap one again. Here's the wires. You see that, how thin they are? My goodness. In fact, there is some writing on this. Let me take a picture so we can read what it says. A little bit hard to read, but 0.3 mm. So there you go, just a quick video. I just wanted to continue to show products made in the Philippines. You get what you pay for. So if you do plan to buy one of these, at least go for the recognized brand. And if you do use it, be very, very, very careful, especially if you have children or pets. And even as an adult, like I mentioned earlier, be very careful when you use these kind of water heaters. They do work, they are very useful, but you have to use them in a responsible way. So that's it. Thanks for watching.